Hey, what's up? This is Dave Strand. I'm with Beer and Battle, and we've gotten some requests to explain a little bit more of the technical aspects of our Dungeons and Dragons or Pathfinder gaming experience. Uh, because I'm extra nerdy, we have an extra nerdy setup, and here is how we set up the projector um, to project onto the table for our maps. And this projects the maps, the grids, and sometimes, you know, we put our little miniatures on top of the maps and stuff. And sometimes the dungeon master will slide images up there of what this person might look like or that person might look like. And uh, so let's get this set up. Uh, first thing to note is this is our LCD projector. It's an NEC 1050. And this is normally our entertainment center. If you look over. Shit. Okay. There's this. a lot of glare. The light was. Okay. If you look over this way, there's our entertainment center, and normally it projects onto uh, a screen. And that's what we run our Netflix and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> but today, we're going to rotate it so that it, instead of facing this way, it's going to flip around and face this way, hit a mirror, and then shine down onto the table. And it's pretty easy. You just kind of rotate it like this. It's on a normal pole that's got... Hold on. Lens flare. I know it's in style. It's like Star Trek. Okay. You can dim the lights there if you want, if yep. it helps. Because we're going to need it when we fire up the projector. Okay. We'll fire up the projector. And now, uh, one thing, well, another thing to note is this is not a normal mirror. There's the normal mirror in the back there. We actually had to get a special mirror and paste it on top of that mirror. Um, it's called a first surface mirror. The normal mirrors that you buy at the store, they've got a piece of glass over them, and then the actual mirror surface is behind it. What that means is that your light travels into it, and it hits the glass, then shines down, and then it hits the mirror and shines down. So what you get is like a big double image on the bottom. You don't want that. You want a first surface mirror. So we're aiming it this way. Can I see the thingy for a second? Mm -hmm. If you look at this angle, you can see the blue is where it's uh, hitting the mirror. And I'm going to zoom it in so it's all on that mirror, that special little first surface mirror. And now it's bouncing down. Problem is right now we don't have a projected surface, but Kelly, my assistant, no, <laughs> no. Uh, this is just a piece of cardstock that you can buy at Michael's or uh, any craft store. Just card paper, and it wasn't big enough, so uh, we taped two of them together. You can also use um, flip chart paper or anything white that's not too shiny. Um, you'll notice ours has some wine stains on it. It's all jacked up looking. Now I'm going to focus the image because it's not focused yet. And you'll notice that everything's in reverse because it's hitting a mirror. One thing that uh, LCD projectors allow you to do though is to switch that in their settings because they're designed to project front or rear. So you go into the settings. Oops. It's a little bit hard when you're doing it backwards, but I can do it. And you go to ceiling rear projection. Click OK. There you go. Now everything's in the uh, right orientation so you can read it. Now you can also go into your laptop settings and flip the image um, upside down so that what you do is you set your laptop here and then you can drag things up onto it uh, with an extended desktop. So then, <clears throat> then our next step is we got to plug their laptop. The Dungeon Master brings his own laptop in and he's got all of his maps and stuff loaded into um, like a Photoshop or he uses GIMP. Um, either Photoshop or GIMP, some kind of photo editing thing where you've got like layers and as we proceed through the dungeon he reveals more and more layers to us. And, um, and so he plugged his laptop into this projector, we run him a little cable. So I'm going to run that cable right now. But instead, because I don't have a laptop, I'm going to plug it into this computer. Same difference, excuse or me. Or she. Or she. Who's she? You said he. He? You're assuming a DM is always a he. That's true. In our group it is, but not always. Are you going to take up the reins? Are you going to no. become a dungeon mistress? No. Then I couldn't drink my wine. That's true. I think the DMs got it rough. they got to kind of keep control keep it of the together. situation. Yeah, keep it together, whereas the players, they can just kind of lose it. And switch our input. There we go. We're now projecting the computer. Now what we would normally do as we get our miniatures out. Then we read a little map there. We place the miniatures onto the map. 
And I'll show you some pictures of that and how that works. And then, uh, and then we play our games. So that's how, uh, that's how we set up our, LC our LCD projector to project our Dungeons & Dragons maps for our beer and battle. Uh, so if you want to check out our podcasts or videos or pictures, go to beerandbattle.com. That's beerandbattle.com.